you have no free will and you have nothing to do with this life. And anything that happens through you is exactly what life wants to do. It's God's wish. Life is doing it. Existence is acting through you and make you think you're the one who chooses this. So let's play this game for a moment. Tell yourself that I don't exist as a separate entity. I'm a part of existence and existence is choosing through me. I have no free will, zero. I can't make any decision. None of my decisions are mine. Say that to yourself and see how your mind is going to respond to you. See the answer. Check it out. Do it right now. And look and see how your mind is going to respond. That you as a separated being, separated entity as a person with your own free will, capable of making your own decisions, do not exist. It doesn't exist. And see what your mind is going to do. Your mind is going to come very strongly and says, what do you mean? What do you mean I don't exist? What do you mean I don't have free will? What do you mean I can do this or not? Thoughts gonna come for you in like bombardment, coming up with all kinds of excuses and reasoning because if you merge into the oneness, it's the death of the mind. It's the death of your ego. The mind has to die. It's the end of it. Because that means the mind doesn't exist. Because you have to be a separated entity with your own free will in order to have a mind. Because what is your mind? It's a bundle of thoughts. What is your ego? It's just thoughts. What is your identity? You. What are you? You created out of a bunch of thoughts. That's all there is to you. Take your thoughts away and next week at the Ascension to Fifth Dimension workshop, I'm going to give you these tools because we have time. We have two, four hours and we have time so I can walk you through these corridors with tools and exercises to bring you into this place. So, which I don't have time to do it here, but who are you? Ask yourself this question. Who am I if I am not thinking? Please. I beg you, pay attention, do this. It's important. It's important for you. Who are you if you're not thinking? 
if there's no thoughts in your mind, what is your definition of yourself? Then who are you? Then how do you define yourself if there are no thoughts? Anybody? Can anybody tell me this? Can you introduce yourself and tell me who you are if you have no thoughts? Zero. What is your identity? Show me your identity. Who are you? If you don't think, if it's, if your mind is completely quiet, I'm not talking about if you're a stupor, don't take me wrong. I'm not talking about a zombie walking around completely. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that you're empty. You have no thoughts. You're here. You're present 100% but there are no thoughts in your mind. You don't have, you wake up from the moment you wake up in the morning till the time you go to bed, you have no thoughts. It's quiet inside you. Then how do you define yourself? And this is something that most human beings go through a complete life cycle over and over. They grow up, they go to school, they get married, they have children, they age, they grow old, they have grandkids and they die. And yet, they never ever question that. And then the cycle keeps repeating itself. Why? Because everything is happening in the realms of thoughts. So it's all the mind creating whatever it's creating, the illusion. So when the person is dying, they get sucked back into this life again because it's a world of thoughts. It's repeating itself. It recreates itself in the world, the realms of thoughts. And since only it's thoughts, it can't stay the same. It cannot sustain its structural, structural integrity. 